funky packages, rambunctious, funny, curious, creative, smart, and sweet. All these adjectives describe my little brother, Hatley. But my brother has a condition called scoliosis. According to the American Association of Neurological Surgeons, between six to nine million people across the US are affected by scoliosis. I'm here to inform you of the condition my brother has and how it affects my family and how we feel we are lucky. Today I'll be talking about the four types of scoliosis, when we found out, and how his scoliosis affects my, our, his life and my family's life. First, let's look at the four types of scoliosis. Scoliosis, Scoliosis is what, a condition when your spine curves in a C or S shape. Your spine can curve to the left, to the right, or even both. Dr. Clayton Stiefel, a chiropractor and scoliosis specialist, said that idiopathic scoliosis has no factor that causes the development of the disease in anyone's genetic. Neuromuscular scoliosis is developed by children when they have a neuro neurological or muscular disease trait. For example, if you, if you have the disease cerebral palsy, it can cause you to have a scoliosis too. Congenital scoliosis is when it's developed in a baby in the mother's womb. The most common cause of this type of scoliosis is in fetal development when the vertebrae is malformed. But another cause is when the bones or an absence of one or more bones makes it partially informed. According to Dr. Stifel, one in 10,000 newborns get, are affected by this type of scoliosis. Degenerative scoliosis affects adults at the age of 40 fully over time. Now let's go back to before my brother was born. During the first ultrasound, something went some, the doctor saw something wrong with my brother's back. And they told my mom and dad, oh, you don't have to worry about it, he'll be fine. But at the second ultrasound, they looked a little further and noticed that he probably had congenital scoliosis. And maybe even spina bifida and hydrocephalus too. Hearing that all, your, all these conditions, or even just one of them, could happen to your brother is very scary and life-changing. After the first two ultrasounds, my parents had to keep going back for six weeks, for every six weeks, to see if anything had changed. And they couldn't find out that he was going to have any of these condi conditions until he was finally born. The ultrasound group looking towards that my brother was going to be born was congenital scoliosis, meaning that he is the one in 10,000 newborns that get it. After he was born, they ruled out ruled out spinal bifida and hydrocephalus. Now let's talk about the, how Hatley's scoliosis affects his and my family's life. After he was born, we had to go to checkups at Gillette Children's Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota every two months to see if anything had changed with his spine. After a while, nothing was really happening, so we could go back every six months instead. And his appointments consisted of x-ray, which is up here, this is an x-ray machine, and doctor visits. Today he has an 80 degree curve, and if he has no shirt on, you can tell that his ribs are po poking out in the front. Like you can see his ribs like visibly poking out kind of, <laughs> and he has a bump on his back. When we go to what Hatley calls the fun doctor, my parents, go in with him to the doctor visits while my sisters and I wait in the waiting room. One time we were waiting in the waiting room when two girls came and sat with us. So we started playing with them and making them feel happy. After going to appointments with my family, we have noticed that we are very lucky compared to other families and what they go through too. For example, the two girls that we played with were there for over six months and they were finally getting to leave. For, or, 
like anybody, Hatley has questions too. One time, Hatley asked my mom, does everybody have a bump like me? And my mom didn't know what to say, so she told him he was special. And this is a great model of his actual spine. Today we went over the types of scoliosis to what the type my brother has and how it affects my family. Hatley is ambitious, eager, noisy, picky, and tough. Even though my brother has scoliosis, he is like every six-year-old, and we are blessed with who he is.